Right, let us go to Elliot Colbert. Elliot. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And as Chair of the APPG for Tamils, and on behalf of Tamils in Castle and Wellington, can I thank the FCDO for their work in securing this new resolution at the UNHRC sessions. However, more can and should be done to provide accountability for the brutal war crimes committed during the Sri Lankan civil war. So what actions can my right honourable friends take to ensure that evidence collected satisfies conditions for sanctions against current Sri Lankan government officials who are credibly accused of overseeing the enforced disappearance and sexual assault of thousands of Sri Lankan civilians during the conflict? I thank my honourable friend uh, for his question. As he will know, um, this government has led international efforts over many years to promote accountability, uh, reconciliation and human rights in Sri Lanka, including at the UN Human Rights Council. The new uh, UK-led resolution adopted by the Human Rights Council in March included for the first time a request for the UN to collect, consolidate, preserve and analyse information and evidence of human rights and abuses and violations. So this can be used to support future accountability processes. Well,